Did you know that more than 66 to 72 percent of our body water is known that it's known that many diseases are caused by intracellular dehydration. So the bottom line is we all need to stay hydrated, but how do you keep that up when the tips are high and in triple digits? Health and nutrition expert Nancy Addison has some great tips this morning. Yes, thank Go you. For it. And I think, you know, hydration is so vitally important and then during the hot summer months, it's critical, especially for older people or for children. Mm -hmm. And uh, the quality of water is so important, but also when we drink our water, it's very important because uh, you know when we drink water, say with our meals, right. or when we sit down at a restaurant, they, you know, first thing they do is bring you a glass of water. Yes. Well, when we're eating, we want our digestive enzymes to be as as powerful as possible, so we can digest our food as efficiently as we can. And if we're watering down our digestive enzymes then we're not doing that. And so we want to drink our water between meals. Okay. So I recommend my, my clients put a big glass of water right by your bed mm -hmm. at night before mm -hmm. you go to bed and then drink it before you even get out of bed in the morning. Just take a big drink before you get out of bed. Right, because when we wake up, we're, we're empty. And so whatever yeah. we're going to put in our body right then we're just going to absorb it like a sponge so it needs to be water first right yeah i was doing that for the longest time and i got out of a habit i was putting hot lemon water in the morning even before coffee and at first it was a struggle and then i started loving it and somehow i've just gotten off that habit so you kind of reminded me to get back into that oh well, and that's a great way to do it because mm -hmm. the lemon water gives you a big burst of vitamin yes. c yes and that can also cleanse your organs mm -hmm. first thing in the morning of bacteria and things like that so that's Brilliant. Water kind of yes. jump starts your metabolism too. It kind of turns that furnace back on. Is that right? It really does. And when we're dehydrated, we can feel really tired. And I know mm -hmm. people who've literally died from dehydration. Wow. And a lot of elderly people who get really listless mm -hmm. and, and feel fatigued, sometimes it's a chronic dehydration. And a lot of times people, you take them a big glass of water and they look at it and they're like, oh, I can't drink that whole thing. So do little ones during, during the day, in between meals. Right. And I recommend waiting about an hour to two hours after a meal and then drink at least one ounce of water for every two pounds of body weight. That's a good a tip day. because I have a trainer and she says I need to carry around a gallon jug and just drink that gallon jug all day long. I just feel like that's overwhelming. It's too much. It's probably too much for my body. So you're saying an ounce for, for every two pounds? Two, two pounds body weight. Okay. Like I'm at about 100 pounds, 104 pounds. So I need to drink 50 ounces of water today, a day. And I have a water bottle that has about 32 ounces in it. So I know I need to drink almost that entire amount between breakfast and lunch, and then again between lunch and dinner. Right, okay. And do so you have some suggestions really here for us? I do, there's so many things on the market. Now in the summer, we've got great fresh fruits and vegetables right, that, are that are high in with water. water. Uh -huh. Water content, natural water and natural electrolytes. And we see all these waters that have natural ele have uh, electrolytes mm -hmm. added to them. Mm -hmm. Well, real water has electrolytes in it, and the word electrolyte actually is a fancy medical term for salt. Right. And so it helps you hold uh, that hydration. That we actually need those electrolytes in yes. order to process that water. And if we're drinking purified water that's mm -hmm. had all the bad stuff taken out, but it's also had all the good stuff taken out too, our body's going to have to pull minerals from our own body in order to process that water. So we want to have those electrolytes in our water. And is it true that uh, caffeine, coffee, sodas, actually deplete the dehydration from our bodies? Yes, they, they actually can. And so we want to we want to really have good high quality waters. And there are things like uh, coconut water that mm -hmm. have a natural electrolytes. And you know watermelons are actually 72%. Um, That's a lot of water. Uh, actually 92% water wow. and have the electrolytes. But um, you know I was saying electrolytes is just a fancy medical term for salt. Well, I, um, I use a really high quality salt and salt should have color in it because the minerals have color. And Dr. Bhattamanji, who's written quite a few books and healed thousands of people of chronic intercellular dehydration, he thinks water is the cause of many diseases. His, one of his water cures is adding an eighth of a teaspoon mm -hmm. of sea salt to every 16 ounces of water. Well, that's a very inexpensive, easy way mm -hmm. to make your water electrolyte rich. Right. And and um, and you can do that 
anywhere, anytime. I buy big bottles of water at the grocery store, add my own salt to it. And then also, if you just don't want to drink plain water all the time, you can do things like add natural mint to mm -hmm. your water and infuse your water or add some oranges, slices, mm -hmm. or... Put some limes uh, in there. Right, and, mm -hmm. and it will add those natural electrolytes, a little flavor. Cucumbers. Have you ever had it with cucumbers? cucumbers and so good. Cucumbers have almost all the vitamins you need in a whole day. So, yes. you know, that's a great choice. And so you got great, great advice. And I, I thank you for coming in and encouraging me because I kind of fell off the bandwagon on that morning water. I need to do that. But you oh. know what I do do? I go to Sonic every day and I get a Route 44 water with extra ice and the big cup and I just suck on it all day. It's so oh, good. Oh, I love that. <laughs> no, it's so good. Um, with, these, with these waters, you want to make sure you read the ingredients to make sure you're getting uh, ones that don't have a lot of added sugar to them. Right. That's key. No sugar. Right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. You can order Nancy's Sensational Sea Salt Seasoning from her website. It's really cool. She gave me a bottle one time and it's awesome. And you can get that organic, healthy life style.com and you can also pick up her books alive and cooking and how to be healthy vegetarian in stores and online this weekend you're going to sample over 60 of Dallas's best restaurants at the taste of Dallas and we're going to have more details when the broadcast returns